Connecticut Gazette, September 21st, 1781. At about daybreak on Thursday, 24 sail of British shipping appeared to the westward of New London. Alarm guns were immediately fired. The British landed in two divisions of about 800 men each. The main body, commanded by that infamous traitor to his country, Benedict Arnold, proceeded to New London and set fire to the stores on the beach, the dwelling houses, and ships at the wharves. The most valuable part of the town, 143 buildings, was reduced to ashes. Fort Trumbull was evacuated as the enemy advanced, and the few men in it crossed the river to Fort Griswold, commanded by Colonel William Ledner, who was resolute. We will not give up the fort. Let the consequences be what they may. The hastily collected militia fought with the greatest bravery. But the fort, being out of repair, could not be defended by only 120 men against such a superior number. They did all that men of spirit and bravery could do, but after having a number of their party killed and wounded, they resigned the fort. Who commands this fort? I did, but you do now. Immediately on their surrender, the valiant Colonel Legge, who gave up his sword, was murdered with 70 other officers and men. After the surrender of the fort, the British loaded a wagon with our wounded men and set it off from the top of a long, steep hill. The wagon went a considerable distance with great force, till it was suddenly stopped by a tree. The shock was so great to those faint and bleeding men that part of them died instantly. The officers ordered their men to fire on the wagon while it was running. Soon after, the merciless enemy set fire to and burnt a number of dwelling houses and stores on Groton Bank and embarked about sunset. More than 100 families are deprived of their habitations. The brave and worthy citizens who were murdered and those since died of their wounds is said to be 59 from Groton, 13 from New London, 3 from Stonington, 1 from Preston, 1 from Long Island, and 2 Negroes, Lambo Latham and Jordan Freeman. Connecticut Gazette, September 21st, 1781.